Elliot Kleinberg, and this is Something Went Horribly Wrong, a blog about bad writing and how to fix it. Segment 66, Euphemisms. A snob walks into a diner. He says, for my morning repast, I request two poultry ova vigorously stirred, along with two sautéed strips of porcine abdominal flesh, as well as two portions of a food prepared with flour, milk, and yeast, and browned by dry heat. Also, please provide a vessel of liquid squeezed from a small citrus fruit, and bring me a container of heated beverage made from aromatic java beans. Please add to that a small amount of thick bovine lactose and two portions of crystalline carbohydrate. No, that's right. He just ordered two scrambled eggs, bacon, two pieces of toast, orange juice, and coffee with cream and two sugars. Now remember the old Prairie Home Companion radio show? One of their big joke shows featured this one of a woman describing her husband. We don't call it a beer belly. It's a liquid grain storage facility. Now, some people talk like this because they think it makes them sound scholarly, such as writers who use $100 words, which we covered in our March 26, 2022 segments. Others who write like this are employing euphemisms, which we've covered before, most recently in our August 21, 2022 Grammar Police segment. Now, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines a euphemism as an agreeable or inoffensive word or phrase that is used instead of one that may offend or suggest something unpleasant. The horribly wrong team calls it one of the most glaring forms of cowardly writing. Now, who uses euphemisms? Politicians, government officials, public relations people, lawyers. Their goal is to soften the blow don't let them. Now, here's some euphemisms and what they really mean. Bathroom tissue, toilet paper. Pre-owned vehicle, used car. Alternative facts, lies. Gentlemen's club, strip club. Conscious uncoupling, breaking up. Enhanced interrogation, torture. Correctional institution, prison. Negative cash flow, debt. Big boned, large. Family planning, birth control. Sex worker, prostitute. Collateral damage, dead civilians. Got a favorite euphemism? Send it in. Next time, more tight writing. I'm Elliot Kleinberg. Visit www.ekfla.com. That's ekfla.com.